All right, we got another problem with SWR. Uh, I picked up this from one of my friends. They just said uh, this thing is just not working correctly, especially on this side. The SWR is high, so guy was gonna throw this to the trash, I guess. And I'm like, well, let me have it. I like to dig into the stuff and uh, take it apart and see what's up, you know? So I hooked up my uh, Nano VNA. Let me put this in here. And the SWR on on this side right here is 1.2. If I switch it to the other side, it's open obviously because there's no wire. But the right side works, left side is open. So I'm gonna sw swap the uh, cable to the other side, and then uh, we're gonna check what's going on with the other side. All right, so coax is connected to the other side. And you can see right here, there's a SWR, it's not, it's showing open infinite on on that side. So something definitely going on inside. Well, we're gonna open it and see what's going on. All right, let's go open this thing. Feels like it's spring loaded or something. Yeah, I think so. I need a different screwdriver. Alright, so I, when I was taking that bolt, this came this came out and it pushed the cover and that ball came out on the bottom. Because that ball goes right here on that spring. So, we got the ball out, I'm not going to use it right now, I just want to see what's going on. Okay, so I see it, there's a gap, hold on, let me try to zoom it. Can I zoom it? Ah, there you go. Yeah, there's a gap on that spring right here. You guys see the gap? This one, this one is is touching this, but this one has a gap. So I don't know what happened, but this one feels much weaker than this. So either somebody was here trying to fix something, or maybe they run more power than this can handle got hot and deformed I don't know exactly I don't, let's see the contact is not burned and then the other side I'm trying to make this okay so the contacts are not pitted or anything so okay because this goes the go the ball goes right there. Let me, see, let me move this. Uh, nope. The ball goes inside this hole right there. Oh man. Okay, the ball goes in there, and then this goes in there. It sits on the ball, and when you switch it, you have that click. But I would have to put the handle everything back. But let me see something. Let me remove that ball. I'm just gonna put this in here between. Okay, so if I go like this, yeah, you see there's a gap. If I go this way, it touches. All right, now we know what's going on. Let me try to bend this maybe somehow and uh, make it work. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to push it somewhere. 
maybe in here I'll reshape it I don't know this is kind of this is like a spring so yeah you see this one this one looks more oval like this and this one was more inside like that so that little push maybe it did it no it's crooked actually it's touching but it's not exactly well this one has a little bit cap on the top too right here so maybe it will be enough I don't know I guess my I might have to put this together maybe maybe bend this a little bit yeah it feels better So we're gonna put this like this. This touch. Hmm. All right. Let me put this together, and we're gonna put the uh, nano VNA again and measure everything. So putting this bag is a little bit tricky. So you have to put that ball in a hole, one of those two holes. Go straight up, move one of those tabs right here, and put this on that ball against the spring. There you go, against the spring. Hold it, and the best way I figured out to put this back is grab the cover and don't try to put it like this. I grab the cover and I'm trying to bring this this hole like this to snap a little bit spin it and then put it back otherwise that ball is gonna come out all the time it's a major pain all right let me put this uh, together and we're gonna be testing it okay so I got two dummy loads. One is from the Nano VNA, which I was testing this whole thing in the beginning. But the screen is a little bit too small. It's kind of hard to see. <clears throat> it's WR. And this is dummy load for this side. This is dummy load for that side. And we can read that now this side is 119 and the other is 103. Obviously, this side is a little bit higher because of the three foot cable and it's different dummy load. So. Looks like bending that uh, spring fixed it. And it's fine. I use a uh, electrical cleaner too, <clears throat> just to clean everything, the contact points in here. And looks like I think so. We got it. Well, I'm gonna hook it up to the radios, and I'm gonna be doing some tests with the uh, Quad Six Pro and regular Quad Six. So. All right, it works, 73.